Hello there everyone, Nubkex here, and today's video, I guess for me, really marks episode one of picking a main, a new main, possibly, for patch 9.1, for Chains of Domination, for Sanctum of Domination. Uh, so it's a pretty interesting time, right? We beat Mythic Denathrius last week, so it is now, you know, we're on reclear, we're on farm, and it's really considering the options for 9.1. We are looking at Warlock here today, and specifically, well, how could we not, how could we not start with Demonology Warlock? Uh, if you guys remember my reviews from the beta, um, at the time, the big concern for Demonology for me was its viability. Would it actually be any good? However, I did say at the time that it was, for me, by far, the most fun Warlock spec, and just generally a really fun and really cool spec in the game. Um, and I think, you know, those fears uh, a bit were borne out. It wasn't considered to be a good spec for progress in Castle Nathria. Though it is, sort of, uh, coming up in the logs now and is actually being flagged as potentially a good spec for, uh, for Sanctum of Domination. It's, it's one that people have their eye on as possibly the best Warlock spec for single target, with Affliction being nerfed. Um, so yeah. Interesting stuff, eh? Very interesting stuff. I personally would be delighted. One of the specs I would love more than anything to see be, be top tier. There is another, by the way, range spec. If you guys remember, brownie points for anyone who remembers, but there is another range spec in a different class that um, I would absolutely love to see be amazing. Uh, we shall see, but if anyone remembers what that is, I, I'd be impressed. Um, but yeah, let's talk about Demonology Warlock. Why is it so good? Why am I? Uh, why is this the first spec I jump to? in my choosing a main uh, uh, options for <laughs> for nine point one? Well, <clears throat> compared to the other Warlock specs, I mean you can see it right here if you pay attention to our Soul Shard bar. I say at a time when we're relatively slow, but compared to the other Warlock specs, it's a lot faster. You are just generating soul shards super fast, spending soul shards super fast. There's a very, very, very quick pace to the rotation. Uh, essentially, every time you do a Shadow Bolt, it generates one soul shard. Uh, but then you're also getting all of these demonic core procs, which is the big, big proc effect you get in the middle of the screen, uh, like when your imps die and stuff like that. Um, and there it is right there. And uh, yeah, that lets you cast Demon Bolt, which is like a super duper Shadow Bolt, basically. It does about twice as much damage, generates like two Soul Shards instead of one. It's instant cast. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. And that gives a real uh, pace to the rotation. And then you can spend three Shards. Uh, you should be spending three Soul Shards at once with your Hand of Gul'dan. It obviously adjusts, so uh, you can spend one, two, or three, but it's better to spend three. Um, so yeah, it just g it gives it a really fast-paced core rotation, uh, which to me is is very fun. And I actually realized, <laughs> I actually realized now watching this, because this is my first uh, first time playing and, and adjusting to talents and keybinds and weak auras and all that sort of stuff. By the way, if you want the weak auras, I will put them up in a link down below. They'll be on my Patreon page. Um, I realized I completely forgot to use implosion while running this dungeon, which is very silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, well. Oh, well, we've learned. And now I will not forget again. Probably. Yeah, I will probably. It's okay. Uh, on top of that, what they have... It's funny, because I'm main Shadow Priest right now. And just incidentally, if you are wondering why... Nimkex, why might you move away from Shadow Priest? Uh, a couple of reasons. I mean, the main reason, honestly, is just for a bit of variety. To be honest, it's a bit of variety. Uh, and also... Um, I'm considering, because I'm the raid lead, um, uh, I actually played a lot. I used all the pre-specs. It was a great choice for me for Castle Nathria. I played Discipline on three fights on Mythic. I played Holy on two fights on Mythic, believe it or not. And uh, then Shadow on the remaining five. So I used all the pre-specs. But I think for raid leading and for the good of the raid, playing on healer was not as effective. Uh, and it's not really what the raid needed. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to be focusing on DPS. So Shadow Priest loses lots of value, right? It's only one DPS spec. It's absolutely phenomenal for single target, but it really struggles in AoE. Uh, 
So that is something of concern, whereas Warlock brings three specs. And if Demonology covers single target really well, Destruction covers like some cleave really well, it could be a bit more varied as well. So that's sort of reason number two. One, being fun. Reason number two, being um, perhaps a bit more versatile as a class uh, for what I need for raid. And then number three is we have two Warlocks right now, and one of them wants to switch to Shadow Priest. So, yeah. This is why I'm considering Warlock, though it is not a, a, a set thing. But one of the things that Demonology does, that Shadow Priest also does, they have one thing that's very much in common that really other... Um, I can't off the top of my head think of another spec which does it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I can't think of another spec which... Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Oh, my God. Which does it. Can you guys think of what it is? Um... It is having a cast time on your major cooldown. Uh, the other example I can think of is Ellie Shaman with Stormkeeper has like a, a sort of a cast time. Uh, but I mean, that's not their main major cooldown. But Summon Demonic Tyrant for Demonology, Void Eruption, Void Form for Shadow Priest. Those both have a cast time. And for me, funny enough, it's actually a super satisfying thing. It's actually something I really like. I really love. You can see we're going to come up to a Demonic Tyrant here in like three seconds. Uh, I'm not sure if I cast it right off the bat or if I was waiting for our um, Fellhounds to come back. It looks like I might be waiting for the Fellhounds. And also, he's off. <laughs> he's away. Goodbye, Mr. Ickes. Um, I, I think the reason that it is so satisfying and so fun is that compared to... Um, I think it compares to like a slingshot where, you know, you, you pull it back. It's the act of pulling it back. But then when you let go, it absolutely goes flying. And that's something that Void Eruption and Demonic Tyrant both do. It's sort of slower paced because, you know, you have to actually cast it, wind up, do the cast. Whereas other specs, you know, you, you press the button and you're going. But once it does go off, it suddenly makes your, your spec flow even faster and just absolutely fly up those damage meters and just start, start clapping. That's something that both void form and uh, demonic tyrant do which makes for very satisfying gameplay I, I would actually say that hypothetically if they added that to fire mage for example it would work great right matching for combustion you have like a, a one and a half second cast or like two second cast even to go into combustion where your fire mage you know oh, it's like the it's the like kaima haima ha or whatever i don't even know how to say it right i'm the worst weeb ever i'm not even a weeb uh, you know, like you build up that power, build, 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 your, your character's catching fire, they're lighting up, sparking up, and then boom! Oh my god, they're on fire, they're combusting, and then they're blasting off with just absolutely insane damage, instant casts. That's the vibe I get with Demonic Tyrant. Frost Mage, for example, would not work so well. Imagine freaking two second cast time in Icy Veins, we're like, we're building up, we're building up, we're building up! Ah, we've got slightly more haste, this is shit. <laughs> it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work. Uh, but Demonic Tyrant is super satisfying as a CD. It's a one and a half minute cooldown as well. One thing to note is I'm currently one level off unlocking rank two. You get it at level 58. I'm level 57 right now. Um, but Demonic Tyrant rank two gives you five soul shards whenever you cast Summon Demonic Tyrant, which again ties into that that feeling of just really taking flight when your, your big cooldown comes in. Uh, so the, the idea here as well is we're running a talent, Demonic Consumption, which... Essentially, the more demons that you have out when you summon your Demonic Tyrant, it basically like, supercharges the Tyrant. So you're going into that setup, right? Coming into your Demonic Tyrant, you're like, okay, I want to get as many demons out as possible. Consider my rotation. You can see I did it wrong right there, for example. I didn't have my Hounds out when I summoned my Tyrant. Um, it's having as many out, and then when I summon in that Tyrant, I'm just going to just absolutely smash. Absolutely smash everything. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, <laughs> it's a cool playstyle. Uh, the other thing is that the most popular legendary... Okay, I think for Mythic Plus they might run a different one, but certainly for raiding, uh, I know for a fact, I think... Actually, I don't know for a fact. But I'm like 85% certain that they run um, Wilfred's? Wilfred's? I, I just keep thinking of Snowpiercer. Mr. Mr. Wilfred. Uh, they run the legendary that gives you cooldown reduction. Uh, whenever you cast, um, I think it's whenever you spend soul shards. So you can essentially bring that demonic tyrant cooldown, something like down to around about a one minute cooldown, much closer to that. So essentially, you know, we've got a, a fairly fast paced rotation most of the time. 
You know, it's kind of quick, very quick builder spender. That just looks awesome. You're summoning in demons. You've got your army of imps hanging out with you. It's just badass. And then every one minute or so, you're going to be building up to this big demonic tyrant. Build up that power, unleash that power, and just absolutely destroy. Just do huge, huge amounts of burst damage every one minute. It's a pretty cool damage profile. It's pretty fun. Again, it ironically, it's very similar, I would say, to Shadow Priest. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it, it's cool. So that's sort of my feeling on that. That's sort of what's going on there. Here's the tyrant. Let's go, boy. Oh, he blasting. Kind of. Um, <laughs> one thing that was a little bit more awkward, of course, in... Um, in the dungeon was uh, having the CDs sync up perfectly. It's not something I was planning super, super well. So we could have done we could have done even more. But there you are. The one thing I don't like about it is that we are Night Fae. Um, Night Fae is the best Covenant overall for Warlock. Um, so that to me is off-putting. Simply because uh, my priest, I swapped to Night Fae. <laughs> Once I was done playing Disc for the tier, I swapped to Night Fae because it was better for Shadow. And uh, then once uh, uh, my druid is my other main alt uh, at max level that I've played the most. And my druid is obviously also Night Fae. So, yeah, that's like my <laughs> all my characters, it feels like, are Night Fae. Uh, I didn't mind two. Two is OK. But when it's like, man, all three are Night Fae. Oh, you get kind of sick of it. Uh, it also has contributed to me really enjoying a warrior alt as well. Because it's Kyrian, uh, just purely for the sake of being different. Uh, although, unfortunately, for, uh, for Fury Warrior, I think that <laughs> Night Fae might be best for, like, dungeons and stuff. But there's no way I'm having four characters in Night Fae. It's an alt, for goodness sake. Want to play to have fun. This character, potential main, have to be a little, a little bit more serious. Um, but, yeah, uh, guys, have you been playing? Because we're coming up near the end of this dungeon here. Have you been playing Demonology Warlock? I actually see that we have another Demonology Warlock in the party. Someone else here is getting on board the demo hype train for 9.1 uh, quite possibly so that's cool but yeah have you been playing it have you been enjoying it uh what do you think i know obviously probably most people for castle nathria uh we're gonna be of course playing affliction warlock um but yeah what do you think of demonology like here you go you can see we're kind of blasting off here we got our demonic tyrant coming in uh, after we summoned in a bunch of imps. Unfortunately, this boss does disappear. But you can see, like, wow, look at that damage meter. You just start flying up once you get all that stuff off. Obviously, this on Heroic is not a great boss fight for it because the boss disappears. <laughs> so our Demonic Tyrant just kind of hangs out with us during this intermission. He's like, hey, yeah, it's a great time. How are you doing? Cool, okay, yeah, cool. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer. But uh, it still gives you an idea for sort of the, the feel of the spec and why it's so fun. Uh but yeah, this this stands, even if this is not, if it ends up that it's not the, the, the best spec in the world, my goodness, this, to me, it remains just tremendously fun. This is just one of the most fun specs. And I, I, I've seen very few people really call that out as well. Um, for me, it seems the community perception, I do feel like the community perception of the spec is biased by the fact that, let's be honest, they haven't never been good, <laughs> basically. And as long as I can remember, for for all of BFA, certainly, it just was not a good spec. It wasn't good. Uh, completely overshadowed by the other destruction, uh, the other destruction, the other uh, warlock specs, destruction and Nihilotha. Ah! <laughs> um, but yeah, th this seems to be a spec that a lot of people overlook. Uh, th they don't take too seriously. And you're seriously missing out. You're seriously missing out because it is just tremendously fun. But guys, that was the dungeon. That was my rambly thoughts on what is going on with demonology and just me in general. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time as the video ends. I did not time this correctly. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.